and then go back to your source code this is your source code index.html control A saya kebiasaannya saya akan gunakan short key saja control A ni adalah untuk select all boleh boleh je you pergi sini and then you pergi sini uh, edit and then you select all no problem but that one is a, a step yang lambat lah so untuk short key saya control A and then saya delete and then saya ini yang saya copy tadi this one highlight control A go back to your source code here control A control V control S control S is actually for save file boleh je you pergi sini and then you click save no problem but that one is a repetition lah you must go file and then save file save so if you are using short key you just control S control A control V control C that one is a very easy control A to to select all control C to copy control V to paste control S to save file ok once you save go back to the browser and then you can see this is uh, my face ok dapat tak boleh dapat tak ke terlalu laju ke I think no problem ya so, yeah? tak apa nanti video ni saya akan share sebab saya tengah record sekarang ok so dapat eh Dapat tak? Saya nak you faham dulu Macam mana nak buat Macam mana ya. nak ni lah Okay Boleh eh? Boleh tak? Boleh Okay So this is the first Boleh M Mungkin you tak faham kat sini Kenapa H1 Kenapa P Okay saya bagi tahu you That one is a different And now I change to H2 And here I change to H2 Control S to save file And then I come back to the browser And then you can see This is a different Tadi dia lebih besar Yang ni lagi kecil If you say that If you change to H3 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 Ctrl A Ctrl S And then you come again And you repeat So you you nampak tak Perbezaan dia Dia semakin mengecil Betul So itu adalah H1 H2 H3 H4 H5 So doesn't matter The bigger ones is H1 The second bigger is H2 And the rest H3 H4 Dan sebagainya Boleh faham eh Boleh boleh, boleh, boleh. Okay, the next step saya nak tunjuk kat you. Saya pergi kepada HTML paragraph. Kat sini. This is we call as a paragraph. Nak buat, kalau you belajar kat sini pun actually you can test. You can try. Except. And then you can see from here. This is the output. This is the source code. Mudah untuk you actually. You just copy from here sampai... You copy HTML to HTML This is the opening for HTML This is the closing for HTML Copy from here HTML Go back to your source code Control A Delete everything Control V Control S And then you can see Go to browser And then you can see from here This is your First paragraph, uh, first paragraph Second paragraph And the third paragraph That one is a very easy Okay Boleh Boleh saya teruskan Boleh Okay now saya pergi kepada style Kat sini you nampak tak This is a style Click je kat sini So you boleh tengok kat sini Saya copy from here to here Control A Go back to source code Control A Remove everything Control V Control S Come back Now you can see This is the result I am normal I am red I am blue I am big So from here you can see This is a color Color Blue This is a font size 50 Kalau we nak change kepada 20 No problem Now you can see The result is something like this So 50 dia besar Kalau you change to 20 So means that the, the smallest one Okay, how about color? Color blue, red. You can change. This is red color. This is a blue color. But we have lot of color. How to check color code? Don't worry about that. Go to Google. From here, Google HTML color code. So we have a HTML color code. You can see from here, we have lot of color. 
we have a green color we have blue color we have a red color we have a orange color let's say you choose orange color macam mana nak copy that one is a quite difficult for us to remember every single html code color so that one is a very easy copy control a control c go back to this red change to this color and this hashtag f that one is a color code go here go to here and now you can see i am normal stay not changing don't worry maybe we have uh, some mistake here start control a and now you can see the color is which This one is not working. Sorry. Style color this one. I am red. You can see this is I am red. Because of you can see the color is quite similar like red. But you change to green color maybe. Take this green color. Change to this color. Control A. Go back to your browser. Now you can see this is the color. Change to green. Okay. Boleh nampak tak? Boleh faham tak? So far okay tak? Okay. Boleh eh? Okay. That one is a quite easy. You can learn itself. Saya tunjuk saja cara macam mana nak buat. Macam mana nak cari. That one is everything actually you can save from Google. Okay. The next one is. Saya pergi dekat. Um... Formatting, I can't show that. That one is in term of formatting. Okay, you will nampak tak? That one is a basic. Dalam, dalam, dalam uh, apa ni? Uh, Word, Microsoft Word also we have a italic, we have a bold, we have a, a subscript dan sebagainya. So dalam HTML also that one is a quite similar. How to check? You copy this one, go back to your source code here, Control N and Control V. Control X to save and go back to your browser. Now you can see this is a, this is a bold, this is type italic, this is subscript and superscript. Channel what? So this you can see that the bold is represent as a B. Sampai mana? Dari mana dah sampai mana? So means that you just close B. So that one is to be considered as a bold. Let's say the first one I change to I. This one also change to I. Close I. So this one is the original. This is a bold. But now I changed to italic already. Then you can see this is a italic. For the second one, that one is italic. I changed to bold, and this one is a close bold. Control S and then go back to browser. You can see this is a italic in bold format. Boleh faham? Boleh? Boleh. Okay. The next one is link. Okay. Uh, this